Vincent asks, uh, why is pornography bad? Oof, why is pornography bad? Pornography is bad for one simple reason. And that is that you are getting false dopamine hits from doing something that makes you feel guilty and gives you shame. If you look at this, uh, all of you can Google vibration chart. Like all of us have a vibration. Everything in, in life has a vibration. In fact, there's a, there's a true story. There was a bridge in Baltimore that was built like in the 60s. Dude, it's crazy. And the way they built the bridge, et cetera, it had the same vibrational frequency as wind at 22 miles an hour, right? Mm -hmm. So when wind kicked up to 22 miles an hour, that 22 mile an hour wind and the vibrational status of that bridge were in line and this bridge would start vibrating and shaking and swaying and cars were getting like tossed around. Oh, yeah. They had to demolish that whole bridge and rebuild it. Vibration's real. Like you've been around people, you walk in, you meet them and immediately you feel this weird like low energy, right. like you're just sucking out the energy of the room, right? Yep. That's a low frequency person, mm -hmm. right? And you've been around high frequency people. And so if you look up the frequency chart or vibrational chart of humans, you'll see that guilt and shame are at the very bottom and they rank at like vibration level like five and six, right? In the middle is acceptance, acceptance, that I'm gonna accept that I'm a flawed human, but I'm gonna take action in becoming a better human. That's vibrational level 400. At the very top of that pyramid of frequency or vibration is self-actualization, happiness, fulfillment, gratitude, that is a vibration level of 12 to 1400 okay. in terms of frequency, right. right? And so when you are watching porn, you're getting dopamine hits and those dopamine hits, you're conditioning yourself, okay, when I do something shameful and that I feel guilty about, I get dopamine hits. Oh my God, I do not want to get this awesome, great dopamine hit that's supposed to be good for me, mm -hmm. like working out. That's a dopamine hit. Right. Making love to your spouse, that's a good dopamine hit, right? Um, doing a hard day's work and feeling accomplished, that's a good dopamine hit. Watching porn secretly because you don't want to be found because you'll feel guilt and shame and getting a dopamine hit, you're conditioning yourself to get dopamine out of negativity, negative things, number one. Number two, guilt and shame are very low on the frequency chart. So you just feel like a low vibrating human and you attract low bad negative stuff into your life. And number three, and this is recently, has recently been found in the last 12 months, 12 to 14 months, there's something called porn-induced erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction. So there used to be a time that people were starting to get impotent or would have erectile dysfunction in their 40s and 50s and 60s as they get older, right? Right. Now, young kids, teens, Kids in their 20s and their 30s are, are unable to get an erection and have sex because they're so used to watching a porn scene that is so exaggerated, mm -hmm. so over the top, that has released so much intense dopamines when you're watching a threesome, foursome, gangbangs, whatever the fuck it is that you weirdos are into. <laughs> and I don't judge you, I've been down that path, but I stopped. But when you're into that shit and then you come home to your beautiful spouse and you just have to make love to her, you're like, well, I don't know, man. Like, it's not eight of you <laughs> on top of each other with weird tools and gadgets and a swing and a, and a, and right. a ball gag from Pulp Fiction, <laughs> right? Shout out to Quentin Tarantino and Pulp Fiction. You know what I'm talking about, Maine. By the way, Ed's not here today. Maine's got the, Maine's got the cameras. And so... Uh, Fuck, bro, how are you gonna be able to make sweet love to your wife if you can't get hard because you've got porn-induced impotence? Yeah. That's sad. So that is why pornography is absolutely bad for you. Well, what about the people that, because I know there's gonna be comments, people like, oh, well, he's one of those guys that's just anti-whatever. What about the people that ask, okay, what if I just do it every once in a while? Like, I'm not addicted, I could stop whenever I want. What do you say to those people? Hey, guess what? If you're not addicted and you're not getting any of the negative side effects, this is a free country. Go for it. I'm not your daddy. I will give you fatherly advice on the show, but I'm not your daddy. I'm not your God. I'm not anyone other than some guy on YouTube and under with a podcast who lives an awesome life, who is congruent with his core values, who has been down all the weird paths of all the different vices that these guys are, have gone down. And I'm telling you right now, they have designed pornography 
where even a little bit becomes a lot. Mm -hmm. Because then you want the next, you want the next, you want the next, and you realize that, holy crap, I'm addicted. It's just like a vape pen. It's like, oh, I only take a hit here and I take a hit there. And then you see the dudes on a plane who are fiending for a hit from a vape pen because they've been on a three hour flight and they can't wait to just run out of that terminal and take yeah. a hit of their vape pen. Right. I don't ever want anything to enslave my mind and heart that way. Not, mm -hmm. not pornography, not nicotine, not alcohol, not food, not television, not any addiction out there, not gambling. Gambling mm -hmm. will create such an addictive component to it. None of it, not, not, not even money. Like money is very intoxicating as well, right? But money is something we need and you can learn to be good and generous with money. But you can also start getting so addicted to it that you can start doing illegal things that are outside of your core values and character mm -hmm. and justify it by, well, I'm just making money and doing good with it until you end up in jail. Plenty of great, nice, good people are in jail because they made bad decisions and it was the addictive factor. Right. So if people are like, hey man, look, porn doesn't affect me. I, I just do it occasionally just to let off some steam. Listen, I got no beef with you, but I'm just letting you know that those companies that produce porn have designed it to take you down the rabbit hole and hold you there for as long as they could. Mm -hmm. I also heard a quote too, I don't, I'm gonna butcher it, but it basically was, if someone's asking, can I just do it in moderation, whatever the addiction is, whatever the thing is, if you have to do it in moderation, you're still a slave to it because you, couldn't, you can't even stop. Exactly. You still have to do it a little bit. So anyways, there's that. Very well said.